Bonjour to the moon, it is I, Rubbing RX, and I am here to finish up Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, we got the 50th boo, we got the 29th portrait ghost, and in this, and we got the final key, which goes right here in the basement. So let's get started, shall we? Now, this room here you could have accessed long sooner. And if you had less than 40 boos, you would not be able to go through this hallway. But because we have 50, uh, we can. <clears throat> so now, for the last time, in key, turn key, out key. Grab knob, turn knob, pull. Welcome to the secret altar. <clears throat> ah, I could just stare at my Mario painting for hours. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. The way you plead for help, Mario, I find it so satisfying. Perhaps that is merely because I remember how much trouble you've caused me in the past. Even though this is King Boo's first appearance. Seriously though, who would actually believe that mansions get given away in contests? Talk about stupid. What do they feed you, Mario Brothers, anyway? Gorobisu? You brother came all this way just to get turned into a painting. It's just terrific. However, this Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will truly be complete. Bleh ha ha. I'm not afraid of you, fool. I fear only that internal infernal poltergust 3000 you carry on your back. Stupid machine. But I'm the king among boos. I swear it. I shall fear no mere house clean device. I must say, I despise the way you slurp, sloop, whoop, slurg, vacuumed up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside the painting. Here we are in our final rooftop battle against Bowser. So, what you're going to want to do is you throw these balls at you. You want to walk up to them with your vacuum going and suck them up. But for some reason it didn't work there. There we go. This is... This is actually my fourth time doing this fight. Okay, that... Uh. I was really excited for this, too. But no, this game hates me for some reason. So when you get one of those balls, you wanna, when he bends his head over, you want to knock, knock his head off to get the King Boo to come out of him. Because King Boo is actually controlling a body of Bowser. It's not actually Bowser. But yes, this is my fourth time doing this fight. The first time was when I recorded part 11 months ago. And I could not figure out how to do it, so I just stopped the recording and never got around to recording the finale again after looking up how to beat the boss. The second time I lost to the boss, which looks like is going to happen again here, 
And then the third time I actually beat the boss, but I lost the footage. A lot of the commentary, the commentary you heard before this, and most of the commentary after this will be my original commentary. But I'm just re-recording the boss fight, because that's the important part. As much as I would have loved to um, have my original boss, my fight, original fight against this boss on recording for a blind playthrough, it's not happening. I still don't like this boss. Um, hello? That was, that was bullshit. I really don't like this boss. You can get hit while you hit him. His attacks are just weird. They're hard to tell where he's going to hit. Uh, the perspective's awkward because the camera shifts to keep Bowser in view. On the bright side, I'm not doing better than I did last time. In fact, I think I'm doing worse than I did. Even though I still got the bronze rank the original time. And it only took me four attempts to get him, but this time he decided to be an ass and just go off the map. And I'm just gonna die again. Look at that. Oh, now that's another thing. Um... My totals at the end, because this is a different playthrough, are going to be a little inconsistent. Well, especially now. Well, hey, look, it's just like the original. I lost everything. I lost the first time I fought him, even though this is the fifth time now I'm going to be fighting him. Oh, we're back. You know, I did that last time too. I kind of, I zoned out when the fight started. I'm forgetting you to talk. Um, that was you. So yeah, I have all the footage to show you why why my number count, my uh, money count will be different in than you might remember. Okay, what? How did I not get the boo that time? <clears throat> and yes, this fight works just like Boo's. He is a Boo after all, it's just he has the most HP out of all of them, which 500. But you are limited on the amount of time you can suck health out of him. And that's what makes him different, it's not... It's not a struggle that you're trying to beat from him, it's a time-based thing. After a certain amount of time, he will just flee from you and go back into the Bowser head. Now this time, I'm doing fairly well. Surprisingly.
Okay. Seventeen health. Game started Bowser. Ugh. See? How am I how was I supposed to dodge that? And still hit him. And so when you suck him up you get his crown, which is a red diamond. Dig it, truly remarkable, my boy. I suppose the Poltergeist 3000, but you. I supplied the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, Sonny. You made me so sniff, proud, snort. Get a hold of yourself, Gad. What's that? You found King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser, you say? He even blew fire at you. Well, well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical tale. And that career spans 60 years, mind you. Why, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I'd say. Oh, beg your pardon. This very old brain goes every now and then recollecting. I could sit down and fill a weak, spinning ghost yarn. Why, well, just last... Right. Well, anywho, Luigi, grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. Hee hee hee, the poor little fellow who's falling asleep must have just collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. Now get the machine ready to return your brother to his former state. I'll be expecting you both. mess with your head. <coughs> this will mess with your head. All the hard work lasted only a single night, or in the case of me, like five months. Well done, Luigi. This mansion those booze built disappear into the night, but the treasure seems to be real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it up. Use it however you like. Say what? Enough raggling on about money? I guess we'd better get your brother back then. Of course, your brother's really important, but first we have to take care of these last ghosts. Somehow we sucked up Bowser's head without actually sucking up Bowser's head. The ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And press them. So we actually got silver on King Boo. I got bronze in my original. Um, yeah, and then I'll. <laughs> got gold on Van Gore. Got gold on Uncle Grimsley. And a gold on Sir Clockwork Soldiers. Silver on Sir Weston. Silver on Sue P. And uh, there was one more that I missed. What was it? Gold on Jarvis. Yep. 23 ghosts. I think thought it was 30 this entire game, but no, it's just 23. I don't know where I got 30 or what 30 is from. But yeah. So I missed two sapphires, three emeralds, and six rubies. And I got 110 million dollars. 
which is important, and I'll explain later. Back to my original commentary. So that was it. That was Luigi's Mansion. I I never played this before. Um, I played Dark Moon. Uh, it was alright. I was expecting this. I know they're very different games. Um, I was expecting just a bit more on this. I don't know why. Not like a bit more, but just... I had higher expectations than I actually got from it. I felt that... The controls were kind of awkward, but maybe that's just because I was used to Dark Moon's controls. Um, I feel like Boo Losses is an obnoxious fight. I feel like the Boos are obnoxious, especially when they get to 3,000 HP. I actually enjoyed the final boss the second time. I probably will play through this again on my own time. Maybe I'll have a different opinion of it. Maybe we'll see another video in a few months about this. Um, when the 3DS remake comes out, I'll definitely be playing that. Probably not on here, because who knows when I'll get the capture tools for that. I did... I'm very... Pleased. To, I'm interested to see what they're going to switch around with Louise Mansion. Not necessarily having a dual stick. Although, they could. I wonder if they'll have C-Stick implementations with like the new Nintendo 3DS or using the Circle Pack Pro. Hopefully when I go to E3 next month, I'll find out. And now that I'm on, you're going to be seeing a lot more on this channel. I have a long list of things to do this summer. I'm done with school, just have work. And I have some, I even have some cut hours right now, so you're probably going to be seeing a lot of me. Um, I hope that you'll come join me next time when we travel with these characters again and someplace more familiar to them. And um, I'm very proud of my money, because as I mentioned, and so the matter of the ghost was so, Professor Egag was so delighted to have all his paintings returned that he used treasure Luigi had found to build Luigi a new house. This is where you get ranked in the game. You need to get $10,000 or $100,000 to get rank A. And I got that. I'm not sure if there's a rank S. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure rank A is the highest, though. And we're back to the title screen. Yeah, there's only 23 ghosts. I don't know where I got... 30 from. Yep, rank A is the highest. Now note, if you are playing a PAL release of the game, it is actually, you need 150 
my god, a hundred million. If you're playing the PAL version, you need to play a hundred and fifty million. So you can get rank A through H. I am honestly surprised I got that. Especially with how much count, how much, uh, how many coins I lost through that entire journey. Um, now I didn't talk through it, but you saw that in the last room there are some bills and coins you could get along with a sapphire. See, I missed two sapphires, I think. Seven emerald, thing, like six rubies. I got both of the gold and red diamonds. I got all the silver diamonds. I got quite a few pearls. But I was not expecting to actually get complete a complete thing like that. But <clears throat> for those of you who watched this entire train wreck of a playthrough for the second half, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this take is the one that goes since it was a blind thing. Hopefully I don't drop as many frames as I did last time. And I will see you all next time on that journey on familiar territory. Au revoir.